Hello and welcome. I am Vicky. You are watching Vicky Engineer. And this video is all about spike rod lighting arrestor. You must know about spike rod lighting arrestor. It's the same one we use in our uh, building or anything residential, commercial, any purpose in a building we use the single rod with some spikes three to four spikes over there for lighting spiral arrestor with and consists of copper body body. That's called spike rod lighting arrestor. And today we will discuss what is spike rod lighting arrestor. Second, how it works. And third, how it's connected to the ground. Three parts. First, what is lighting a spike rod lighting arrestor. Second, how it works. And third, how it's connected to the ground. So before starting this video, let me wish you a happy Raksha Bandhan. Since I'm shooting over here, this day is the Raksha Bandhan, so I'm I wish all a happy Raksha Bandhan to all. Basically, what is lightning arrestor? And what is spike rod lightning arrestor? If you don't know what is lightning arrestor and how it works in brief, I have already made a video on that and you can go through the link and have some good idea about what is lightning arrestor and how it works. And second, if what is a spike rod lightning, lightning arrestor? Before going in detail, as you know in brief, lightning arrestor is the device that prevents the extra amount of current from outside entering in your circuit and prevent your equipment from damage by bypassing it to the ground. One more time. Lightning arrestor is the device which prevents your electrical equipment or your electrical circuit from the extra amount of current entering to your circuit by bypassing them to ground. Basically this is the lightning arrestor. Then spike rod lightning arrestor is one type of lightning arrestor out of many. And basically this is used in the building sectors. High rise building, be it residential, commercial, mainly buildings are protected with spike rod lightning arrestor. Then what is spike rod lightning arrestor? Basically spike rod lightning arrestor is a copper dense rod, not hollow rod, dense copper rod of 2 to 3 meter in height and in the top it is twisted, it is fixed with the spikes. Basically there will be one spike rod and out, uh, from that there will be 3 to 4 spikes. You must have seen uh, in any type of residential project, the same, same type of uh, lightning arrestor is being used in residential, commercial, anything. And in buildings, if it's a building, it's used over there. Next, it is fixed on the RCC slab of your building. If it's there, it is fixed on the RCC slab of your building. Then from the uh, bottom, there will be a hole over there to connect the earth wire earth wire or earth strip anything you can connect with the lug and the washer you can <coughs> fix over there and you normally bring it to the uh, ground bring it to the ground by fixing on the lateral portions of building you bring it down and it's connected with a chemical earth pit in the ground you must know what is chemical earth pit and how it works basically chemical earth pit is made of an earthing electrode and backfilled with the chemical compounds like bentonite, maconite and graphite compound in some cases being used. If you want to learn de in detail what is chemical earth bit, I am giving the link in the button, card button, you can go through and have some good knowledge on that. And it's connected in the uh, ground with the chemical earth bit. Then suppose if your building is already existing building and you need a multiple to minimum two to three type uh, three uh, of uh, lightning arrestor for your project or for your building then what to do in that case in many cases people what do they bring the th uh, three separate wires or strips from the lightning arrestor and bring it to the ground and let it connect with the same uh, chemical earth bit what is the drawback of that type of use is what happens suppose in some cases there is any damage or anything then what will happen all of your two to three uh, lightning arrestors they are unfunctional in that case at least go for two earth pits 
If you are not going for three, at least go for two and make it a green. Basically, for lightning arrest uh, case, I am telling you, at least make a multiple. At least go for two earth chemical earthquakes. Connect it from the lightning arrest device and make it connected in parallel. Make it connected in parallel. So what will happen in some cases? Suppose there is some issue. At least one of you will be infunctional in any no case it will get damaged. Next, <coughs> what is the earth grade then? If you are into engineering or anything, you must have seen the construction level buildings. They are in earth streets connected in X and Y axis to make it a grid at the base of the building. What is that? If it's a high rise building and it's good in size in square feet, what is advised to do then? Make it a grid at the base, at the column level, where you start the column level digging the ground. At that level, make a grid of earth streets in x, y axis and the again in y axis and make it welded and fixed over there. And lay a layer of uh, marconet. Do not go for ventonite if you are going for a lightning arrester. Marconet will mix it a cement. You must know how to mix a marconet, what is the ratio of that and how to mix and how to slay that. If you don't know that, then I'll go through that uh, link in the description or car button. You can have some good knowledge on that. Slay over then make it a mix axis a concrete like structure and uh, give it a time of uh, 8 to 10 hours so that it will be fixed. Then normally you can uh, bring out the uh, buzzword like structure from that and all our uh, lightning arrester or earth strips coming from the top you, you always can connect around the building that there is no issue in that. That's the proper way of doing that. But what happens in, in your cases uh, your building is already existing one. You can't do that, you can't demolish the building and again uh, do a earth, earth grid, right? So, in no case you can demolish the building. What to do in that case? First, find out how many lightning arrestors you need to cover your building first. If it's in a multiple two or three, if it's a one, go for one. If it's a multiple two or three or anything, at least go for two chemical earth bits and make it interconnected parallelly and connect the earth wires or strips coming from top and to that to that so by doing that your step of making a lightning arrester and bringing it to functional is over so this is it all about spike rod lightning arrester how what is lightning arrester spike rod how it works and how it's connected to the ground if you are having any doubt or any confusion in that, let me know in the comment section. I will glad to help you on that. So, that's it for now. I am Vicky signing off. Bye-bye. See you next.